Good night. Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Yes. Yes. Tonight. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Guys, I'm Good super night. happy to see you today. Uh, give me one second. Okay, okay. La plataforma 91%. Teacher. Hi, tell me. Hi, can, can you repeat that please? Can you say that again? Sorry, I'm just trying to fix up my camera. Okay, guys, so good evening, everybody. It's super nice to see you one more day. Uh, las disculpas por el día de ayer, but I didn't have electricity, but I'm like super happy to no see problem. you guys. Espero que estén bien, no que no problem. se hayan mojado tanto. Thank you. <laughs> well, actually, no sé si escuchan, de hecho, la lluvia ha estado lloviendo, pero torrencialmente here, you know, but I'm like super happy to see you guys. Um, let me see. I think I got Ricardo, I got Morris. Good evening, guys. Uh, I see Ruben. Hi, Ruben. Good evening. Uh, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Uh, Felix. Great to see you guys. Hi, Helen. Arnoldo, how are you doing? Uh, Kenya, good evening. Nice to see you here. And I think I got, now yeah, I got quite those. How are you guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su semana? Okay, thank you, Ruben. That, that's all right. I got it. Okay. Guys, did you have a nice weekend? ¿Tuvieron un muy buen fin de semana? Was it long? ¿Les celebraron? How was that? Was it good? Yes, was it good? Yes. Okay, okay. Glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. Okay. Okay. So let me see. We are going to finish today uh, session number five. So terminamos ahora la unidad número uno. We're going to be finishing part of uh, unit number one in our session. 
But of course, eh, vamos a ir avanzando, right? In the platform as much as we can. Guys, ¿cómo van con la plataforma? Ya avanzaron un poquito. Aprovecho, eh, me demo. So enjoy your meal. ¿Cómo 91 está con la plataforma? 91 por ciento. 91, yeah, super. Ok. Oh, es Pero, pero es mire, hay Dígame. una para llegar a 100. Debe de contestar y que me salen mal, no sé por qué. Vaya, si gusta, al final la revisamos. We can check on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Probablemente eh, haya un espacio, una, como un punto o algo de forma que nos está mm -hmm. evitando get the 100%. Ok, but podemos revisarlo al final. No problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Mauricio, ¿cómo vamos? Eh, Arnoldo, ¿cómo está con la plataforma? ¿Ya pudieron avanzar, guys? Eh, good evening. Hi, good evening. good evening. How are you? Very well, teacher. Nice to hear that, Belen. Thank you for joining. Uh, so, Kenya, como va con la plataforma, guys? Helen, everything good? I'm in unit two. Okay, so you're in unit two. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so guys, intentemos avanzar, right? So we can, eh, para que no nos vayamos quedando atrás, and then eh, no tengamos mayores dificultades, but by the end of the module. Okay, Francisco is okay, we come in. All right. Uh, well, guys, today we're going to work a little bit uh, with uh, SWOT. No sé si están familiarizados con él. Probably not much or probably in Spanish, but we're going to work a little bit with that in English, a little bit of vocabulary and some questions. So vamos a dedicarle más a speaking practice. Um, let me see. To get started, I have a little debate. All right. This is a 15 minutes debate. A petición del público, you know. <laughs> so last week we were talking a little bit about this, uh, but today I think it's um, like a very good topic. We can start discussing, and also because I want you to speak a little more. So let me just get the time. Uh, this is pretty much uh, your debate, right? So your opinion, what do you think? So you got to defend, uh, I don't know if you are into cats, into dogs, but if you have to choose one, if you have to decide which is the best, so which is better, and of course, why? Why do you like it? Okay, guys, so I'm going to uh, please open up your microphone in case you went to, you're ready to give your opinion out, right? Okay, and I'm going to just uh, set the time here. We have 15 minutes to do it. Belen, microphone is all yours. Go for it. Okay, teacher. First of all, the cats are better. Why? Oh. It's very simple. I love dogs and every kind person uh, wants to choose the most um, what we love more. For me, at the first time, I don't like the cats. Okay. I don't like uh, because I don't know how uh, was the interaction with that kind of animals. But when I grew up, I understand that I'm a kind of lazy person. Okay. And to have a dog is a little big responsibility, more than a cat. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's correct that the cats are very independent, but it's also uh, fake that the cat doesn't uh, get, uh, no son como muy amorosos, no sé la palabra. They que are not loving, okay, they are not that, loving. That, that is a totally fake. If you don't, um, if you don't have cats or you don't have any cats already, okay. so, you can understand how is they love. And it's something, uh, it's a phrase that is very common and I use it a lot of. Okay. The dogs, you choose them, but the cats, they choose you. Oh. That's something very important because it's not the same. Okay. The dogs, it's, it's an animal. <laughs> I already heard uh, a reels in Instagram. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you said the dogs could be the better, the best friend of the human, mm -hmm. but the cats uh, you, doesn't Helen. tell the police <laughs> where is the drug. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. But, and uh. that is a joke. But, but that's true. I had never thought about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, okay. But, but yes, it's just something important. And this is some phrase that maybe you can think about it. The dogs, 
you choose them okay. and the cat they choose you and, and that's maybe the reason that some in some families the cat it's maybe so angry or mad or feels like he doesn't or it doesn't love you because maybe that wasn't the cat for you oh okay that's a very interesting point i had never thought about that saying of uh cats uh don't show where don't show the police where the drug is so, uh, uh, that's totally new for you okay guy oh thank you so much for being here and for being listener no worries helen whenever you're ready so we are here so you can participate and open your your camera all right guys so helen says that cats are better but i'd like to listen to the rest of you so what do you think cats dogs and why uh so let me just take a look yes please enrique give us your opinion what do you think okay this are my cats and i allergic to cats oh uh, okay the dogs is the better for me Okay, but, but why? Besides your allergies, uh -huh. why? Um, it's very loving for me. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to say it with them. A playful. Uh -huh. I'm going to write it in the chat. Okay, so it is playful and loving. Okay, have you ever had a cat in your life? Yeah, I have a cat. No. In your house. Yeah, I I made cuenta que era alérgico. Oh <laughs> no. Okay. So when you say allergies, what do you get? Like a skin rash or este, uh, just start sí, sneezing. O sea, que mi, mi gato, el gato jugaba conmigo y entonces. So the cat played. Rodeaba. The cat played. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The cat played and, and a scratch. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you got all red, so it was more like allergies. Oh, okay. The sneeze. Okay, so you started sneezing. Okay, so that's a sneeze, right? Okay, very interesting. So you're allergic to cats. Okay, yeah. okay. So uh, you said that dogs are playful and loving, Angelica. What would you say, cats or dogs and why? Teacher, that's uh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let, let me listen to Angelica and then I come back to Belen because I'm sure she has something to say about that. <laughs> I read it in the chat, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> Angelica, hi, great to see you. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't, well, I don't hate cats. I any uh, I have a friends with cats that that the Berlin have right. This mm -hmm. cat shows you, it's just mm -hmm. you, because the the cat for my friend always is in my lap, always in my shoes, <laughs> playing oh. with my my purse is something I don't know. They have a, a como se dice. Um, Eh, una algo como una 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 particularidad de enfocarse en algo o sea eh, que le consideran uno como un juguete no lo sé oh do they mm -hmm. maybe yes, they are they are like super are, playful probably they are like super I don't know playful. they have a, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> maybe wow. just like a like a toy <laughs> Oh, but they I'm treat you done. as a toy. <laughs> like a toy. Okay. Yes, they, they have a, uh, I don't know. Okay. The, uh, La mirada is always like, a, ah, it's a, it's a new toy. <laughs> oh, okay. I had never I heard. Like... <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yes tell us, tell us. Oh. Uh, the dogs, I always have the dogs all of my life since I have six years old. It was my first dog. It was a... Uh, Canelita. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a, um, we don't have a word to say aguacatero, but, <laughs> but, but we can use probably mixed uh, breed. Mix, uh -huh. mix mixed breed. breed. Okay. Yeah. So, or a mixed, mixed breed dog. Uh -huh. mixed. We don't have aguacatero or something. <laughs> okay. So, I, oh. all my life I have like uh, six. 
six or dogs. Six dogs. Oh yeah. my god. I, uh, okay. I don't know. I, wow. <laughs> they are so many. Well, yeah. you do have like those <laughs> animals. Yeah. Okay. That was pet. In in every every pet is uh, it's a girl. Oh, only girls. They are girls. Only girls. Okay. Okay. Just one boy. Wow, that's really interesting and, and great to hear that. Okay, so Angelica is not into, it's, she doesn't have a hate relationship with cats, but no. she's just not into that. All right, uh, so I think Belen had something to say, and then I would like to listen to Mauricio's opinion. So Belen, what, do you, what would you say about it? The allergist teacher, it's not an a option or an excuse for um, have a, doesn't have love for the cats because that is so far. It's, it's a perfect excuse. You're oblig obligated to love other animals even if you love the cats. Oh no, but Enrique didn't say that he doesn't love uh, or hates uh -huh. the cats. He was like, I can, uh, there is a cat, he said, but I'm allergic to them. So it's quite different. Mauricio, what would you say about it? Felix says, okay, the cats have a stinky. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what would you say about it, but, Mauricio? But they hide. <laughs> but they, they hide. They hide? Where? They hide it, the book. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yes, they hide it uh, into the sand. Well, or into your clothes? <laughs> no, into the sand. I have never had a cat, so I don't know. So into sand. Oh, but I have a little garden. So normally my neighbor's cats come and hide it there. So <laughs> yeah, even that has a point there. <laughs> OK. Yes. They are so clean for me. Okay. They are more cleaner. They are cleaner than dogs. Oh, okay. So they are cleaner than dogs. Let's see what the rest. I of the love dogs. her. <laughs> okay, Margarita. Good evening. Great to have you. Thank you for joining. Let me see. I see Judy. Francisco, thank you. Leí su mensaje, and I hope you get um, well to your house. Uh, Rafael, thank you for joining today. Let me see. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. hello. Okay, guys. So what, what's your opinion on that? Uh, so Maury, sorry, I, I miss you. Hey, oh, hey, what hey, do you no, think? No worries. Um, I don't like the pets. Oh. Regardless, cats, dogs, no, no, turtles, no. you're not into them. No, because in, in my family, I, I grew up and we don't have one. Okay, but if you had to pick one, if you ever choose a cat or a dog, what would you prefer? What would you pick? De definitely, I prefer a dog. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, very nice. Uh, Rafael, what are you into? Cats or dogs? Oh, Ricardo, this is for cats. Uh, for me, it's indifferent. Um, the pets, I love cats or dogs, mm -hmm. no problem. Okay, but if you had to choose, if you had to pick one, so which is better, cats or dogs? Uh, cats. Okay, why? Because, why cats? Because keep the mice away. Oh, that's a very good <laughs> point. Okay, so they keep mice away. All right, that's a really good and valid point Rafael thank you and I see Melda like you know I agree yes I, I, I agree you know I don't I'm not much into cats but I agree with you <laughs> okay that's a super nice point uh Margarita uh, um, yes, not only it. and not only mouse so many how do you say uh, plagas uh, I don't know if you mean insects. Uh -huh. Insects, teacher. For example, what other insects? I just know um, my gender. Bats. Bats. They, they eat bats. geckos. Do they? Do they eat yes. geckos? Yes. yes. I saw that. Teacher, I that saw is that. so sad because yes, when that I is try, so sad. To, try to try to eat delicious. The, the geckos, oh my God. I love delicious. Thank you, delicious <laughs> No, teacher, it's it. super sad. 
Because when my cat tried to pick the, the that animals, the, the geckos, I don't know how to say in English. I would say I lizard. To... Uh -huh. Okay, that it's it's so sad because I don't I don't hate the geckos. I don't like it, but I want to uh, I I want to they live. So when they when she tried to pick pick them, I I follow her and I try to <laughs> save them because it's so unfair. Wow, okay. I didn't know that cats uh, went after these little, um, I don't know, I would call them maybe salamanders or little lizards, right? But okay. That row. No, that doesn't they, get into the row. Hear. But probably lizard. Let me let me investigate if there is another. Yes, Menademo. I see that you wrote something in the chat. Tell us. My guy's brother, they roof Thailand, and he have two puppies. I do we they are nosy of thy cats. Mm -hmm. They start, they start, by cash they start making down watching nice. thai. They are there. That is totally right. So when one starts making noise or meow me, right? So the cats start barking. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, that is a very nice one. Because of the time, I don't know if I have another opinion or someone wants to participate. Judy says, I think that the dog makes, makes. Because in my family, there were never cats. Um, what do you mean, Judy? I think that the dogs makes. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit more, more information on that, Judy? Oh, I think Judy's internet is a little uh, bad. Okay, maybe you can type it. That's okay, Judy. If if your internet is not working or it's raining, you can type. No it's worries. Sure. Yes. Tell us. Yeah, the Monday in the chat then. The Zoom. Yes, yes, yes. I saw it. I saw it. No worries. Um, but I didn't get like the full idea for Judy. I think that the dog makes because of my family that are that were never kids. Mm. Well, if you can give us more information on that, that would be nice. Okay, guys, but that was a very nice participation. I uh, just hope. For the next debate, we can listen to the rest of you. So we can listen to Delmi, to Mercedes, Margarita. But that was all right. And the time is over. Yes, tell us. Next debate. Next two? Next debate will be Cola Champagne versus Fanta. <laughs> and big cola. <laughs> No, so I no, think no, that no. that is necessary. <laughs> okay, well, let me think about Salva it. Let me cola. think about it. And, and be cola. cola. And salva cola. All right, guys. Um, We are going to be working today a little bit on personality, let's say, on an analysis of you our have personality. Five minutes. Uh, yes. But to I'll... get us started, I have this question that says, um, I have three questions actually for you. And it says here, you have five minutes to answer the five, the three questions. Question number one, use three adjectives to describe your character. If we are talking about your personality, if we are talking about you, so what words would you use to describe yourself? So if we are talking, for example, about, I don't know, Andrea. So what words would Andrea um, use to describe herself? Um, in my case, for example, I think that three words that is, describe me uh, are these, and I'm just going to write them, right? So question two, mention three characteristics you wish you have. This is interesting. Number two says, mention three characteristics you wish you had. So tres características que les gustaría tener, talking about personality, pero que no tiene, right? For example, in my case, I would like to be uh, more probably uh, sympathetic, 
Mm, give me one second. I cannot type. Okay. Uh, sympathetic. Uh, let me check the spelling because I think that uh, something is wrong here. So I would like, for example, to be more sympathetic or more empathic. Sometimes it's difficult for me. The second characteristic is I would like to have, I would like to have, check it out, a good memory. I have a terrible, but terrible memory. And I would like to have a, a longer term memory or have a better memory. And probably the other one, uh, I don't know. So you think guys about the characteristics that you wish you had, pero que no las tiene, que no las hemos desarrollado, right? Or I don't know, I would like to be, so I would like, me gustaría ser, right? So I would like to be, um, I don't know, probably more extroverted. Para los que somos un poco introvertidos, I would like to be more extroverted. O si hablo mucho lo opuesto, I would like to be less extroverted, right? So you think about your personality. And the last one, guys, says, what are three characteristics you have, but you don't like, like them? What do yeah. they So this is totally the opposite. Lo que sí tenemos como sí, lo que sí nos describe, pero que no nos gusta. How can I express this? Easy. Solamente le agrego not. I wouldn't like. Okay, or, um, well, one of the characteristics that I have, I think, but I don't like them, is that I am, um, oh, how, how can I say that? <laughs> I am a very open-minded, all right? No, I'm not going to include that. Let me let me think about other characteristics. That's not oh, bad. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, I am laid back. This is bad. Okay, so laid back, guys. Es una palabra nueva. If this is a new word for you, uh, laid back. Sorry, no sé por qué mi teclado no me permite. It's not allowing me to select the. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So laid back is como demasiado relajada, you know, but in the sense that uh, no que soy orgasana, uh, I'm not lazy, but laid You're back. You're not complicated. Yeah, kind of, you know. Pero You're depende. chill. No, no, no. It depends. It's just like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to change this. It's a little complicated. I like to procrastinate. <laughs> okay. okay. I think... I think that this describes me better. I like to procrastinate. Okay, which is bad, you know? If I have homework tomorrow, I'm like, ah, oh, I have time. I'll do it tomorrow. And five minutes before, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my homework, you know? And aha, uh -huh, like Angelica. <laughs> I heard Angelica is laughing. So uh, I think that this describes a Salvadorian, right? Nos gusta dejar todo para el último minuto. So we like to procrastinate. I don't know, guys, if you feel like this, okay? But let's try to come up. I'm going to give you five minutes. So three adjectives to describe your personality. Como son, pueden ser buenos, malos, it doesn't matter. Two, mention three characteristics you wish you had. And number three, what are three characteristics you have, but you don't like them? You can use your dictionary. You can use uh, your uh, translator, that's okay. Um, but intentemos buscar las palabras, sorry. Look, look for the words and then we share them, guys. So if you have difficulties con alguna or you want to make sure, let me know y la buscamos juntos, no problem. So, cinco minutos, guys. You got five minutes. You can make a list on your notebook. Uh, you can use your blog. You can use your dictionary, anything that you know, um, words for you.
One more minute. Alrighty, guys, so let's share your list, okay? Uh, let's come up with a couple of ideas and also we can share vocabulary and maybe uh, you can identify more words that describe you. So number one, uh, you have three adjectives to describe your personality. So what words would you select? What describes your personality, guys? Tell me, let me get started with you. Tell me three words to describe yourself. Okay. I am kind, intelligent, and oh. hardworking. Oh, very nice. Those are really good words. Okay. Uh, so, Mercedes, what about you? Uh, I am person, intelligent, okay. happy, okay. helpful. Okay. Happy person. So happy. Well, uh, happy would be more like like a feeling, but but can you say? Can you repeat them, please? Uh, I think you said helpful. Ah, uh, helpful. Mm -hmm. Intelligent, helpful. Fragile person. Oh, when you say fragile, do you mean like uh, like sensitive? Uh, yes. Como sensible, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so we can use sensitive instead. Uh -huh. Sensitive. What? No, 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 sorry. Yeah, sensitive is fine. Sensitive is fine. Then let's muestro porque there is another word that, that looks very similar. Okay, very nice. Uh, Margarita, what about you? Yes, Margarita. 
No. Hello. Eh, number three or number two? Number one, number one. Ah, es y... Ella es a friendly person. Friendly person, ok. Uh, yes, Margarita, and the rest. So you are friendly. Es amigable, right? You're friendly. Eh, a las tres le... Las tres preguntas de un solo. I'm sorry. Eh, no, miss. Eh, number one says use three adjectives to describe your character. So you mentioned friendly, ¿qué más? ¿Cómo se describe usted? How do you describe your personality? Solo como friendly? Ah, o sea que yo me tengo que describir. Yes, of ah, course. No había entendido, perdón. Estaba so describiendo right. a alguien, pero no era yo. Oh, wait, so usted no es amigable, so you're not friendly. <laughs> Oh, sí, yes, sí, okay, soy okay. amiga. Ok, so you get friendly. ¿Qué más, Miss? ¿Qué más? Eh, este, angry también. <laughs> oh, my God. Ok, so friendly and angry. Ok. Yes. Eh, quizás, eh, ay, no sé cómo, servicial. No okay. sé cómo se dice. Uh, yeah, you can use helpful. Let me write it here. So that's helpful. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Okay, guys, uh, in regards to the word, uh, in regards to the word angry, uh, let me add a couple of more things. Because um, angry is bastante general, al igual que happy. So happy is como un sentimiento, right? But no es nuestra personalidad. It's not like toda la vida vamos a andar super felices. Probably not. Es más un sentimiento. So, ¿qué podemos usar en vez de esas palabras? Angry, for example, no es alguien que ande... Ok, si quiere decir que somos como cascarrabias, right? que toda la vida ponemos una cara de enojo and you're like that, so we can use the word grumpy. Yeah? Uh, como en las películas que las abuelitas son súper enojadas por todo. So, that is grumpy, right? Como cascarrabias enojonas. But if you want to say que se enojan rápido, that Grinch. would have, uh -huh. <laughs> el Grinch. <what? laughs> so, no es que ustedes son enojadas, no es que son cascarrabias, sino que tienen una tolerancia muy baja y se enojan rápido. So that is called, um, podemos llamarle que son hot heavy, no, right? son eléctricas. O son, bueno, demo. Son de, de delicadas. Mm, pero sí, pero en inglés la palabra delicada significa algo más. Ya lo vamos a ver. We're going to check on that. Delicate. So, Delicate. Mm, no, really, there is another word. So hot-headed es alguien que se enoja como bien rápido, right? So we can use those words. Angry, but angry es más como algo que me molestó, right? Grumpy es que todo el tiempo paso cascarradía, right? And hot-headed mm -hmm. que me enojo muy rápido, ¿vale? En mad. Oh, but mad es similar a angry. No es oh. que es mi personalidad, sino algo mm -hmm. me pone súper molesta, right? Like a situation makes me mad or a situation makes me angry, but no necesariamente su personalidad. Now, with happy, same thing. Normalmente no decimos I am happy porque es como ahorita estoy feliz, right? Sino mi personalidad es súper alegre. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? I can use the word lively, right? Soy como muy amena, muy alegre. So I can use the word lively. I can use the word, uh, let me think. So I would say lively is the most common or we can use the word extroverted que también lo usamos para alguien eh, super, um, you know, lively or sociable, right? So I'm friendly, I'm sociable. Yes, miss. I write, I write the, the, 
the answer of this question in the chat. Mm -hmm. But I have a question because I don't know what is the adjective to that word. And uh, it's about uh, the two characteristics that I don't like from myself. Get boring fast. Mm -hmm. I know it is an adjective, but I don't know who, what is. Which one? Get boring fast? Yes. Uh, no, but that is okay. That's a that's actually like a very nice description of the adjective. Uh, to be honest, be impatient. The, oh, that that would be a nice one. Thank you, Kenya. Yes, definitely. That would be a really nice one. So you're impatient. That could be. Uh, uh, or the description sounds good to me. No but one. yeah, impatient, impatient, I, I eh, lo defino como en efecto, ¿verdad? No tener paciencia, pero get boring fast, yo lo defino, bueno, lo escribí así porque lo entiendo como empezar algo y aburrir. No es por tener impaciencia a algo, o bueno, quizás a un resultado, no lo sé, pero lo define así como, como no finalizar algo. Porque te aburres. Algo así lo pero, entendí. Ajá, but the thing is that, no sé si sería aburrida. I don't ajá. know if the word would be like aburrida, but I don't think Boring, so. maybe. I ajá, don't know. Ajá, but, but let me think, let me think, because maybe there okay. is another way. Um, oh, yeah, I see that in the chat now. Um, okay. So we're going to check that out in a second. Okay, guys, let's move on and let's go to the second part that says uh, three characteristics. Uh, let's go to number three. I think that is more interesting. What are three characteristics that you have, but you don't like them, guys? What is something that you hate, that you don't like about your personality? Uh, in the chat, I see Felix saying, impatient, insensitive. No, are you serious, Felix? Proud. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, just one of them. What are the words? that you, the, the characteristics that you don't like? What the adjectives do describe with your character? Oh, number three. What are three characteristics that you don't like, that you have, but you don't like? You don't like. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you like then for your thing, time? Uh, oh, the, the, the from the ones you wrote. Which did you write? The right. Working. Okay. You. But working no es tanto una característica, right? Uh, think about it. Piensa en ellas. Tres características que no le gustan de usted. Three characteristics you don't like about you. Y luego regresa con usted. Workaholic. No problem. Okay, workaholic. Yeah, right. That could be. So workaholic could be. Guys, ¿qué no le gusta de ustedes? What is something that you, you don't like about yourselves? Okay. I don't like to be arrogant. You don't like to be? Arrogant. Okay, so arrogant, proud, and brave, yes. Confident. I like to be grumpy. Grumpy, okay, so grumpy. Anything else? Confident. Confident, que no les gusta, that you don't like. About no. ourselves. Oh, oh yes. Eh, Mauricio, ¿por qué no le gusta ser confident? I want to be confident. <laughs> okay. Así uh, como confiado, o sea, de confiarme mucho no, tal vez en personas y así. Confidence es que usted cree en sí mismo. So no, confidence no, no. es que usted cree en usted. I would say like too optimistic with people or too trustful, que sea como que crea demasiado en las personas, that would be like too trustful probably, right? Uh -huh. oh, confident uh, es algo uh, muy bueno porque eso es usted cree en usted. Uh -huh. like you believe uh, in yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Andrea, I meant that. What about the rest of you guys? Angelica, tell us or no, what is something you don't like about your personality? So, mm. Giri, yeah. Um, sometimes I'm a little shy. I don't I, like that. Oh, you're shy. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, eso no me lo esperaba. I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, yeah. what about the rest, guys? In my case, I would like to manage manage better my time because I am a little um, impuntual. Oh, impuntual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, but a little or very impuntual? Uh, I think a little. <laughs> <laughs> but you but doubt it. <laughs> I, I, I have issues to wake up <laughs> oh, when, no. when the alarm rings. <laughs> oh, okay. But do you arrive on time to your work? Um, <laughs> not all the time. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see. So a little bit of, uh, yeah, I would say probably time management, right? Okay, so. Just a little teacher. Okay, you're ready. Let me check on the chat. It says, my character, bad mood. Okay, okay. And confidence in what I say. So I my say. Teacher? Yep. My chat attack. Character. Character. Mm -hmm. My bad mood yes. is confident in one says. Okay, so you want to improve on that. Okay, you're, I like that. So you got a bad mood. Okay, guys, what about the rest? Teacher, yes. maybe, I don't know, but maybe some of the characteristics that I put in the first one, it's, it's on social. But maybe it's something, it's it's something it's at this disadvantage too mm -hmm. uh, because maybe it's not shy because it's not shy it's maybe like if you if one of this class they don't know about the word on short on social in spanish as social is someone that don't like uh, to make uh, uh, Convivencia with other people. I would say so, aloof. In English, there is a word that is aloof. Que aloof. Es como, yeah, that is like alguien que no le gusta, you know, interact with other people. So, interact. Yes. You, you prefer to be on your own. No es que sea tímido, simplemente you don't like to be with people. You don't like, yes. Mm -hmm. That's aloof. And it's something good for me because mm -hmm. I love to be like that, but it's a dis uh, uh, disadvantage. Uh, how do you say? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Disadvantage. Yes. Disadvantage. Yeah, it's a disadvantage in some cases. So, yeah, it's something that I can have. Sometimes I can handle it, but it could be something good and something bad at the same time. Okay. Okay. Actually, yeah, we're going to, those are very nice uh, adjectives, the ones that you have brought up, because we are going to use them in a moment. Arnoldo says, number one, patient, intelligent, multitasking at work. Oh, very nice description, Arnoldo. Number two, which uh, uh, characteristics you wish you have? Be friendly, be extroverted, and be organized. I have a lot of patience, I am introverted, and I am unorganized. Well, disorganized we can use, okay? Okay, so disorganized. Okay, I see that, no worries. I have a lot of patience. I like to be supportive with colleagues at work and work as a team. I like that one, Menedemo. That sounds like a very nice description. Okay, why am I asking you this? Easy, because today we are going to work on your strength and your weakness. So, most of the times, um, guys, ¿quién ha ido a una entrevista? Who has gone to a job interview in English? Uh, yes, no. teacher. Not yet, todavía no, not yet. It's not me, teacher. Oh, yes, okay, teacher, Angelica, me too. you have Belen mm has, -hmm. okay, nice. So, it, what do they ask you in job interviews in English? Actually, very similar questions. Like, oh, yeah. what is your personality, right? No, Felix says, Enrique says, okay. They ask you about ways to describe yourself and they ask mm -hmm. us, they ask you about this important thing. What are your strengths and what are your weakness? So today we're going to work on these important uh, descriptors here. Um, so we're going to work with a SWOT, S-W-O-T. 
it says a personal SWOT uh, is an analysis to understand your strength. What is the strength? The strongest points of your personality, the good points of your personality. And the weakness, Woo! the opposite. Okay, so a strength and weakness, good and bad points. Uh, the opportunities and threats you face. So you can plan your career uh, success. Um, strength and weakness. Guys, repeat with me, please. Strength. 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 Okay, next one, weaknesses. 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 There we go. So what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? All right. Strength. Uh, Imeda, please, help me read strength. Call it right. Strength are a task or action that you can do well. These include talent, knowledge, and skills. Thank you very much. Uh, Mauricio, please help me read witnesses. Witnesses. The stuff you are performing and its opportune level. Thank you very much. Then we have opportunities and threats. Rafael, please help me read opportunities. Opportunities, external factors that give you a competitive advantage. Thank you very much. And um, let me see, Andrea, please help me read threats. Threats, potential factors that can harm you. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we have like the four important words, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Guys, what is an opportunity for you? What is a threat for you? What is a weakness for you? Um, let's come up with some vocabulary, all right? And then we are going to start working on the slot. One second. Okay, guys, so we are going to first work with these four words, okay? Number one, we have weak or weakness, right? What is weakness, guys? What is weak? Wait, the weak. Exactly. So uh, if you say, I me siento enfermo, me siento débil, oh, I feel weak, all right? But if you want to say, Oh, mis debilidades, mis puntos débiles, my weakness. That's why les escribí acá las dos palabras, so you can take a look at them. Next one, threat. Guys, repeat with me, threat. 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 What is a threat? What is a threat? Mm, very interesting. ¿Por qué no treat? Why is the pronunciation different? Well, son palabras diferentes. They are different words. Treat, right? It's like, la canción de Shawn Mendes, treat me better, all right? Like, <laughs> trátame, right? I treat you nice, they treat me badly, etc. Pero threat is different, that's a different word. So threat and, and treat, okay. Now, ¿qué significa threat? What's the meaning of threat? An idea? If I tell you, uh, Bitcoin is a threat to El Salvador. Um, gangs and violence is a threat to El Salvador. What is a threat? Amenaza. Yes, una amenaza, algo malo, exactly. Something really bad. So what is a threat to, your, to you, right? What's a threat for you? Uh, harm. En el último, leí a la compañera que threat is something that can harm you. So, what is harm? Creo que alguien por ahí lo mencionó. I think somebody mentioned. Mm, parecido. Very similar, but advertencia sería warn. Oh, look, se parecen. Very similar. But harm and warn. 
words, yes, advertencia, and what is harm? What is harm? If I tell you, for example, it's, exactly, smoking can harm your body, drinking can harm uh, your health, uh, not doing exercise can harm your brain, I don't know, etc. So harm is something that is bad for your, for you, for your life, for your body. Y la última that we have is strength, that is a strong point, right? Guys, uh, do me a big favor, I just want you to write, escríbame una oración, write a sentence, please, using the words, una oración cortita, pero que ustedes recuerden qué significa, right? Something that means a lot to you. Um, y que la utilicemos. In the first one, pueden usar weak, o pueden usar weakness, but remember, son cosas diferentes. So I can say, I feel weak, me siento débil, right? Or, my weakness. Uh, El Salvador's weakness. My boss' weakness. So weakness, singular, or weaknesses, plural. My weaknesses are, right? And there we go. So I'll give you five more minutes, guys. Five minutes. Guys, if you have questions, let me know, please. If you want to write the sentences in the chat, no worries. Feel free to do so, and, and I can read them too. My weakness is my children. My weakness. Okay. Well, Helen, that's a good example, pero no sé cómo tomarlo, Miss. <laughs> no, I guess kidding. Lo que sucede es que por lo general, weakness es algo muy malo. It's something really bad. <laughs> your, sentence is, your sentence is perfect. Pero yo quizás diría lo opuesto. My strength is my children. <laughs> Como mi fortaleza, right? Like something super good. Because my weakness, I don't know. <laughs> But your sentence is good. I would just think about the meaning. <laughs> My strength uh, are punctuality and responsibility. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Helen, me escucha? Can you hear me? Creo que Helen tenía issues con el internet. Okay, so uh, Helen me confirma si me escucha. Let me know if you can hear. Oh, okay. Let, let me write it there. Teacher, and if you write that same sentences, but only with weak. Mm, ¿Cuál me? Which one? one? Uh, uh, the Helen. Helen sentence. Let me. My weak ah. is my children. 
Yes. If no. no. That wouldn't work. No, no. Lo que sucede es que weak es un adjetivo. And weakness ah. es un nombre. Entonces, eh, no se escucharía bien, let's say. Yeah, my se faltaría week... todo el contexto en la versión. No, lo que sucede es que se escucharía muy raro, you know? no, no tendría como mucho sense. Okay. Eh, uh -huh. So, con my siempre escribimos las palabras que terminen con ness, ya, yeah? badness, uh -huh, weakness, and things like those. Yesterday, about, I had to speak about my weakness in the interview. It was a little uncomfortable. Oh, very nice example, Imelda. Eh, Ricardo, I don't know um, your sentence says, I feel very bad and I have a complaint. Pero no sé, Ricardo, si es un ejemplo o si sí si tiene una queja para mí. <laughs> so you let me know which of them. O si era un ejemplo, if that was a sentence. Eh, Helen, le escribo. Let me write it over for you. ¿De cuál, teacher? La que me acaba de escribir, Ricardo. Dice, I, oh, I feel bad and I have a complaint. La oración está bien. Yo tengo gripe. Me siento mal porque tengo gripe. Le dije. Ah, ok. Ah, ok, wait. Complaint ah, in English ah, es una queja. Ah, you know? Ah, Entonces, ah, no es que me aqueje algo. No es que me duela algo, sino complaint es que tengo una queja hacia alguien, que me siento incómodo por algo. So, si le digo, uh, Ricardo, yo me quiero quejar con usted. <laughs> so, I have a quejese. complaint for you. Quejese. Entonces, complaint quejese. es una queja, pero en el sentido de un reclamo, you know? Mm -hmm. Dígame, reclámame. No, Ricardo, that was an, only an example. <laughs> but, but nice, la oración está súper bien. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear que tiene gripe. Gracias por acompañarnos, you know. Yo sé que el clima está algo difícil. Pero como es parte de la oración que nos pidió usted, pues. Yeah. <laughs> ok. Sí, tengo gripe, en verdad tengo gripe, pero como usted pidió parte de la oración ahí. Nice, no, that's ok, de eso se trata. Entonces, este va a la otra, va. No. Yeah, yeah, work with the rest. Weak, weakness, threat, harm, or the strength. Um, Helen, por ahí le les escribí. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Uh, la oración está bien, pero weak me da la idea que es algo malo. Entonces, si digo, my children are my weakness, es como que eso muy, es muy malo tener hijos, you know? Lo utilizaría no, quizás no, al no, revés. My no, children no, are no, my no, strength. No, <laughs> Y él ah, sí. No, no worries. La oración está perfecta, right? But la idea, bueno, no sé, el... <ríe> no sé si a eso se refería. <ríe> o sea, como que una es como eran mis hijos. Ajá. Yeah, pero debilidad de algo bueno, I guess, right? <ríe> yes, yeah, so, well, cambiémosle solamente, like my strength. Son mi fortaleza, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, My weakness is coffee. Okay, okay, sounds good, Margarita. Uh, okay, guys, so can you give me some examples, please? Do you have an example for threat? Uh, Kenya, casi no le he escuchado. Do you have an example for threat, Kenya? Uh, tell me an example for threat. Arnoldo, do you have anything for us? Okay, Mauricio says, my weakness is that I can't say no. In a Tehutla, when it is raining, it is a threat. Can listen to you because my speaker is harmed. My strength is my family. Oh, very nice. Okay. Very nice. Sounds good. Anybody else? Uh, Judy, well, Rafael, do you have anything else, guys? Francisco, no sé si ya llegó a su casa. Uh, Imelda, do you have any example for us? Like threat or harm. Maybe teacher, if I say the contamination of the environment will be a threat in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a threat, definitely. Uh, Mercedes says my weakness is when my daughter gets sick. Ooh, that's a very nice example. My weakness are, um, mm -hmm. Eh, solamente hagámoslo singular, eh, Rafael. My weakness is um, impunctuality. That's a good one. 
My main weakness is being had <laughs> uh, Humans are the main threat to the environment. Very nice example. Okay, guys, very good. So, my weakness is to listen to music. Okay, very good examples. So, let's take a look at, now that we got an idea about these words, let's come up with what is SWOT. I have an example for you. And this is um, a SWOT or an evaluation of the strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat for learning English. Yes. Teacher, sorry. Just I have a question. Yes, what is the meaning when you say, let's come up with? Oh, okay. So come up with is, let me write it down. Come up with. So come up with uh, can be create, uh, make, uh, think. So, todo lo que tiene que ver con generar, you know. So, come up with is like generate ideas. So, come oh, up okay. with, normally lo usamos como, okay, so let's come up with some ideas, right? Como generemos ideas. Vamos. Or, mm -hmm, o demos ideas, exactly. There okay. you go. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, y digamos un estrés eh, como de ser empeñado o, o determinado en, en cumplir un objetivo. ¿Cómo podría ser? Oh, very nice question. ¿Cómo digo que soy determinado, right? How can mm -hmm. I say that? Hay muchas formas. Uh, first, you can use uh, the term in person, right? You can use this one. Teacher. You can use, yes, goal getter. A mí me gusta mucho esa palabra, goal getter. Como si tengo una meta, la alcanzo, mm -hmm. right? Uh, si soy como súper enfocado en lo que quiero. So, I am a determined mm -hmm. person. Or I am a goal getter. Um, let me think about another one. Esas quizás son las más comunas, but déjeme pensar en otras. Let me think about other words. It, yes? It will be commitment. Mm, yeah, so a committed person. Eh, sí, podría relacionarse con commitment as well. Normalmente para una persona usamos the term in goal getter. Uh, committed. Okay, Committed is más relacionado como con su compromiso, right? Uh, but yes, Compete of course, eh, competitive sería para una persona. Competition, but en personas usamos competitive. Pero creo que competitive cambia un poquito el significado, right? Es más como, uh, I am a competitive person, so necesito ser el mejor siempre. I need to be the best always. So, but yeah, we can use it as well. So, competitive. Yes. Uh, are we are we good, Rafael? Yes, teacher. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Any other question you may have? Okay, so let's go ahead with this uh, description right here. So we have S for strength, W for weakness, O for opportunity, and T for threat. S, W, O, and T. Ese es el SWOT, right? So what is a strength? Look at the examples I have. This is for learning uh, English, right? So SWOT so says a strength. I have experience in business administration. I have leadership skill, right? Uh, weakness. There aren't many job opportunities. There is a lot of competition in my field. People cannot speak better English than I do. But this is relacionado con hablar inglés, right? Most people in my field have a master's degree. Uh, que creo que nos pasa a todos. I think that these are like the biggest weakness for everybody. Opportunities. There are five universities nearby. So we have US, we have UCA, Don Bosco, eh, Matias Delgado, Gavidi, etc. There are many institutes for learning English. Public universities offer scholarships. There are more examples of personal, oh, I'm sorry, as a callega. Y luego, threats in English. ¿Cuál serían las amenazas de aprender inglés, guys? I don't know English pretty well. I am not good at learning languages. No sé si alguna vez han, han dicho, uy, no, no soy bueno. O han escuchado que alguien diga, a mí no me entra nada, right? I'm not good at learning languages. Definitivamente es una amenaza. 
I'm not very good at selling products. Si vamos a aplicar a ventas or something, and I don't learn fast. So these are just examples de cómo hacer un soft. Guys, vamos a intentar, we're gonna try to make a personal sweat. So vamos a hacer un cuadrito. We're going to make like a little a table like right here with the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. De ustedes, right? Talking about your personality. So vamos a intentar describir un poquito about yourself, all right? So guys, to do this, um, for example, si hablamos de su trabajo, guys, if we are talking about your job, what are your strengths? En su trabajo, ¿cuáles son las fortalezas que tienen, guys? What are the strengths in your workplace? I have experience in logistic operations. I have experience, exactly. What else? For me, it's an strength I have a lot of patience. Okay, I have experience. I have a lot of patience. All right. I'm Maybe teacher. Skill too. I have a skills. Yes, of course. Yes. What else? My enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Oh, I am a very enthusiastic person. I am very. I am a very positive. I am punctual. Very nice. Now weaknesses. En su trabajo, ¿cuáles son las debilidades? What are the weaknesses? The same enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> what? How come? Because that doesn't care if you had enthusiasm. Oh, okay. It's it's, an, it's it's something very good for ourselves in my work. Okay. Because you get, one, you get down. If it's bad, it doesn't work for the job if you are or not enthusiastic. Ok, probablemente podemos agregar acá, so, mi entusiasmo no es valorado, right? So, my entusiasmo, my commitment is not taken into consideration. Yep, so that will definitely be it. Uh, so, guys, any other weakness? ¿Cuáles son las debilidades? What are the I want, low points? I want, I want to go home on time. I, I don't like the OT. <laughs> oh, ok, I don't like the schedule, weaknesses. On my job. Oh, okay. So, puede ser como, um, como shift, extensive shift, right? Como los horarios son muy extensos, extensive shift. That, that definitely works. Now, what else? That is related to your work, right? I, Now, I don't like to work in Saturday too. <laughs> I don't like to work in general. <laughs> no, you don't like to work in Saturday. Okay, oh, opportunities, guys. Oh, oper okay. Voy a utilizar what conocimiento en que lo pondríamos. Opportunities or strength? Opportunity. Opportunity. Opportunities? Okay. So probably pueden crecer en la empresa. You can grow in your company if you have the knowledge. ¿Cuáles son las oportunidades? Mm -hmm. I will not uh, a working uh, hardy names proper to a time the people mm -hmm. or um, official body of my reason. But yes, look at it. What do you want to say? Um, in the But, eh, ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál es la idea? ¿Cuál es la idea? Pues como está preguntando ¿Qué es lo que se hace en el área de trabajo? Le estoy poniendo ¿verdad? Nosotros trabajamos en el área de Teladores, chapuladores Ok Aquí, ajá, okay. operarios yeah, but, but opportunities se refiere a las oportunidades a futuro ¿Qué su empleo ofrece, por ejemplo? Si está en ese trabajo, ¿qué es lo bueno? Por ejemplo, here the opportunities de aprender inglés podría ser. Well, number one, hay acceso a... There is access to a scholarships. Tenemos acceso a becas, por ejemplo. Guys, en su yes. empresa les ofrecen becas. Do you have access to a scholarships? Yes, we oh. can support another courses. Ah, ok. Very nice. Solo es yes. aporo. Solo es Safor porque... But it's Safor, it's a scholarship. Estamos okay. en, taller, en taller de CPL aprendiendo mecánica obra vacu. 
pero por la pandemia se nos vino todo abajo ya dejamos a mitad el curso de, de but in Safor is good in Safor is like very nice they they have very good projects okay y la última guys que sería threats so threats si hablamos de aprender inglés uh, I'm not good at learning English now guys cuáles son sus amenazas en el trabajo what are your threats at work Amenaza en el trabajo en vez de... Bueno, no físicas, no. right? Not physical threats. No. Hablamos, ajá, uh -huh, like, what is affecting you? ¿Qué es algo malo de su trabajo, guys? Any idea that comes to your mind? Malas expresiones. Mm -hmm. Tal vez un mal ambiente laboral, probably, like a bad environment, right? O malas relaciones con los compañeros, probably. Or oh. gossips. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, you oh, have been victims of oh, gossips. Uh, teacher, uh, maybe, maybe constant change in technology. Constant change. Uh, I, I need uh, updates in knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Competition. Okay, so the field is, de hecho, estaba in weakness, I think. But yes, so vamos a hacer algo pero personal, right? Uh, ¿Cuáles son sus fortalezas? What are your uh, weaknesses? What are your opportunities? ¿En qué pueden mejorar? And what are the threats? ¿Qué les afecta? How is it affecting your life? All right, guys, I'll give you five more minutes. Podemos hacer el cuadrito so you can definitely do the uh, account. Si se fija, no hay una palabra, sino que una descripción. And then vamos a explicar por qué. We're gonna try to explain why. Five more minutes y comenzamos a explicar. Delmi says, in the company, I have the opportunity to be promoted to a new position in a short term, flexible schedules to study and the opportunity to study English through in software. Wow, Delmi, that's a very beautiful description. Okay. Short term. ¿En cuánto tiempo, Delmi? When, uh, or how long did it take to be promoted? Um, in the, the next month. What? You were promoted in one month? Yes. Nice. That's wow. a good. Thank Congratulations. you. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Flexible schedules. When you fle when you say flexible schedules, it's like trabaja cuando quiere. ¿eh? No. <laughs> How is that? Do you choose your schedule? Um, Can you choose? Puedes escoger su horario. Can you select your own schedule? We leave early. Oh, what time do you leave? Uh, four, four, four p.m. Oh, and what time do you start working? I don't understand. Yes, what time do you start? What time do you work? What time do you start working? Eight hours. So from eight to four or from eight at, to five? At, at seven, no, uh -huh, seven a.m. Mm -hmm. at four. four uh -huh. And and Thursday at three. Oh. Thirty p.m. Wow, do you work on Saturday? No. No Sunday, no Saturday, no weekends? No. no. Oh, that's a nice schedule. Okay. Yes. Okay, so Friday is like your short day. Como el día corto, like your short day. Oh, where do you work, Delmi? In, uh, in Nova Drugstore in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay, okay, sounds good. But that's a very nice schedule. Astrid. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a look. Yes, Ricardo, I'm checking. A threat of dismissal or being against the workers? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got to learn a lot of work and learn many skills. Okay. Okay. Yeah, guys, si les funciona, pueden hacer el cuadrito, right? So you can definitely do the, the chart para que sea más fácil. We have three more minutes. No ha pasado lista, teacher. No, no yet. No yet. No worries. Uh, did, did you finish? Do you need more time? Are you ready, guys? Hi, ladies. Good evening. Uh, more time, please. Uh, so, Maurice, uh, Enrique, Margarita, are you ready? 
Están listos, guys? You ready? Need more time. More time, please. Before making. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, antes de irnos a practicar before like going there, practicing a little bit, let's go ahead, guys, uh, and check the little exercise that we have in page number 14. So uh, we have these words that we were checking like strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Solamente para confirmar, we got the vocabulary. Uh, please, ayúdenme completando this little exercise. So, one second. Oh. Let me just make this bigger. Hold on. Okay, guys, there we go. So, uh, number one, it says provide an analysis of the company's advantage over its competitors. So, what do you think this is? From the options that we have on top strength, weakness, opportunities, or threats. Number two, consider areas in which the company companies are at a competitive disadvantage. Number three, add a list of unexploded markets or business developments. And number four, explore the external environment that could affect the company, including all the changes, technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. Guys, can you please help me complete it? The stranger. So we have a strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Number one, number two, three, and four. Give me the answers, guys. The one opportunity. Guys, no los escucho. Give me one second. Opportunity. Si one. Estaba hablando sola y no escuchaba nada. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, so uh, Menedemo just said opportunities, number one. Uh, opportunity. Opportunity. Okay. Opportunities, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, estamos de acuerdo? Do, do you agree? Or tienen otra diferente? Do you have a different answer? Okay, I'm gonna write it here y luego revisamos, no worries. So opportunities, oh my gosh. Hold on a second. What, what's going on? Okay. Give me one second, guys. What? De eso más grande la pantalla. No, guys, give me one second, cause. I don't know what happened to my screen. So it went crazy. Okay. Now. Do it with me. Uh, it turned around. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Go to first page. Uh oh. Give me one second, cause. Okay, guys, we're gonna complete the exercise in a couple of minutes. Uh, so I don't know what happened to my manual, <laughs> but it went crazy. Okay, guys, so mientras tanto, vamos a hablar un poquito de nuestras um, abilities, right? Our strength, weakness, opportunities. Compartan, please, share answers. Y luego vamos a compartir with the whole class. Encuentren algo en común, guys. So find something that you got in common, please. Take notes. Tomen notas, of course. Um, algo que, you know, uh, you find that you have or you share with the rest of your classmates. And then we come y lo vamos a compartir with the class. So we got 10 minutes to do that.
Guys, vámonos a los grupos super quick. Compartamos nuestro SWOT, right? Or that in Spanish, le llamamos el FODA, right? The so-called FODA. So, and take notes, please. So let's go. See you in some minutes. Uh -huh. Solo serían cuatro partes, fortaleza, oportunidad, debilidades y amenazas. Ya, ya lo tienen ustedes. O tendríamos que ser uno por el grupo. Creo que solo lo íbamos a compartir entre nosotros lo que habíamos hecho. Oh, okay. Yes, guys, only share what you have. And then, uh, if they have things in common, that, that would be amazing. Okay. Okay. Eh, les comparto las mías, si gusto. Okay. Mientras termine. Okay. Eh, strange in my world. Experience. Ya vine. Sketch. Uh -huh. Stable world, Stable world. Technology. technology, training, consultation with doctor. Okay, I have finished. It. One practice. Oh, uh, yes, guys. Well, the idea is to share what you have. So, um, no importa si ya terminaron, si les falta, that's okay. Uh, intenten contarnos un poquito, right? Try to give us more information. No solamente I am grumpy, sino explícanos like en qué momento, right? Or, or if you say I am intelligent, yes, but explícanos, give us more information. So Me I too. am very intelligent, I like to solve problems, yes, miss. Uh, sorry, I didn't understand if we have to talk about our job or about our personal life. 
Uh, no, yeah, it is going to be a personal thought. So, okay. um, el, el ejemplo que estábamos haciendo was about your job, right? But this one is about your personality. So, like, okay. you as a person. <laughs> okay. Yo entendí lo del trabajo. Yeah, el trabajo fue el primero. That was el, el ejemplo que estábamos haciendo, right? That was the example. But now, vamos a hacer un personal thought. Lo mismo que respondimos al inicio, right? Like, um, how you describe yourself, the personality or the characteristics that you have that you don't like, um, and then the characteristics that you would like to have. So that's kind of your personal thought. Okay. And no necesitan well, escribirlo. You don't really need to, to write it. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Melda. In my case, I think uh, one of my strengths is that I, I am a good learning person and I like to learn new things. Continue. <laughs> because the rest of the guys are like super eager to participate. <laughs> no, just kidding. Please. Go ahead, go ahead. That's a nice one. I did my about my job. <laughs> oh, but it is not necessary to write it down. Uh, tell us about the the opportunities or the part of opportunities, the weakness, and a little bit of the threats. Um, another threat I... is that um, uh, I don't know how do you say when you take a risk when you have a this uh when you have to make a decision and you take a risk take a risk maybe but i am um, take your maybe if there but I yeah know maybe if... that i i i feel i like a little brave but i don't know if you mean like problem solving abilities no, or maybe... more like as Angelica said, risk taker. Maybe, yes, risk taker. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. Yeah, oh. it is a, a difference in something email to say a learning person and a curious person. I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? Uh, I don't know if it's a different uh, email that says she's a learning person, but it's not more like an curious person. Or it's a different. Mm, I don't know. Because a curious person is something you have to, the opportunity to learn in something for yourself. Or in learning, I don't know if, if somebody uh, teach you something. Mm, uh, I'm not quite sure. So Imelda, previously you mentioned that uh, you like learning, right? In yes. what in what sense? Uh, because Angelica has a, a super valid point there. When you say mm -hmm. learning, is because you are curious and you like to read and you like to investigate, or you are just curious, or um, or like, are you, do you prefer to go to courses or do you go into YouTube and you learn on your own? Or what mm. do you mean uh -huh, by you like learning? I think uh, both ways because I like to study. Oh. Uh, I am not, um, se dice, como uh, aplicada or, or... Studious? Or no, curious? Pero, no, no, como... Como, como esas personas que pasan todo el tiempo estudiando. Ok, so you're not a nerdy. Uh, o sea, a mí sí me gusta estudiar, okay. pero no como le dijera. So you're not o sea, a si nerdy. Gusta, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, I like to study uh, in a formal way. I am curious. I like to study by my own. Oh. Uh, but I don't like um, ay, que no sé, pero como, como pasar demasiadas horas estudiando, no sé si lo explico. Ok, 
um, yeah, so you like learning, you like to be curious, uh, but you don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how, how you call that. <laughs> yeah, so you wouldn't die, you know, you wouldn't die to be one whole day just studying, so. Uh -huh. Yes, but I like uh, uh, studying a formal way, like take courses or... Oh. Um, study a, a, like a diploma, you know, yes, like to get a diploma yes. in something or... Okay, oh, so, okay, okay. Oh, okay, sounds really interesting. That was a strength, right? Okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of your strength? What are your strengths? Uh, my, something, uh, my strength is that I am too self-confident. Too? <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, I, I love to learn so much. And for example, when, when I go to sleep, I say to me that today I am a better person than yesterday. Okay, that is amazing actually. So that is something super, super positive. Okay. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Well, in my case, I am a hardworking. Uh, okay. I am a responsible with my schedule of my job. Okay. And honest. And so you're, okay. Very, 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 very loyal. Loyalty. So you're a loyal person. You mean yeah. loyal with your family, loyal with your company, or what kind of loyalty? Um, with the people. Okay. Mm -hmm my with my friends real friends okay sounds sounds and nice my family all right okay and so that is your strength what else what else <laughs> <laughs> no you're doing good you're doing good <laughs> Okay, now that sounds nice. Okay, guys, anybody else who wants to tell us about your uh, strength? Who else is in the group? Give me one second. I don't see your cameras. Okay, um, so Enrique, tell me, what about you guys? Hey, Andrea, what about you? What can you tell us about your strength? Wait, hold on a sec. <laughs> I, I was not looking at your camera, but for some reason, oh, I'm sorry. Le confundí la voz con alguien más, I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. Okay, okay. So I think we are missing Delmi, right? And okay. Okay. In, in my job, my strength are time, coordination, teamwork, and empathy. Okay. Give me more. <laughs> in my job, my my strength are time, coordination. Mm -hmm. Teamwork and empathy. Okay. Can you explain a little more, please? Uh, why teamwork? So why empathy? I mean, your, your sentence, your answer is really good, means. So, let me un poquito más de información. Just give us a little more. So, I understand my, my, my colleagues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me you are a boss. Why? 
Perdón. You are a boss. Are you a boss? Yes. Yeah, she said that she was promoted as después del primer mes, right, Miss? <laughs> so that is just amazing. That's like, wow, super cool. Okay, guys, that sounds good. Give me just a moment. We are going to go back because some are having uh, internet issues. That was really nice. Give me so just a second here. Okay, thank you guys for coming back. And uh, I have a little exercise for you. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con fluidez. So this is one minute talk. Tenemos esas dos preguntas that are super important. And the segunda vez aplican para una entrevista, either country, if that is in English, uh, it's a must. Les van a preguntar, what are your weakness? What are your strengths? How do you describe yourself? Tell me three positive things. Tell me three negative things. So, guys, lo que vamos a hacer is the following. Deme un segundo que los demás no... Oh, ya regresé. Okay. So, guys, what we are going to do is the following. Uh, today, por cuestión de tiempo, tenemos like five minutes. Okay. Vamos a hacer one minute talk. All right, so if we have only five people, we're going to be having five people que nos cuenten un poquito de sus strengths and weaknesses in a minute, all right, sin detenerse. So, mientanos, <laughs> véndanse. What the idea is to talk for one minute, all right? Si no logran pasar ahora, no worries. Vamos a tener la tarea para mañana. But guys, si les toca mañana, van a ser dos minutos. We're going to be uh, talking for two minutes, okay? So sí, my sure. recommendation is improvisemos y pasemos el día de ahora. Hello, Ricardo, tell me. Este, y mañana que no es tu día de maestro. Yes, thank you. Pero tenemos clases, guys. Así que no Ay, se preocupen, man. siempre tenemos okay. tarea. <laughs> Okay. okay, so guys, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a trabajar con estas dos preguntas. What are your weakness? What are your strengths? Eh, si quieren ser voluntarios el día de ahora, un minuto sin parar, all right? Si no lo logramos, si no logran pasar por cuestión de tiempo, para el día de mañana, dos minutos sin parar, all right? Uh, try to make it super, you know, cleared. Intente, no solo decirnos, uh, I am patient, I am ambitious, I am intelligent. <laughs> Porque es un minuto. Entonces, denos, give us information. I am a team player. I like to work with different people in my company, etc., etc. So, métanle más información, right? Para que suene mucho más fluido. So, first person, guys. ¿Quién quiere ser primero? Who goes first? It's one minute. Y si no, para mañana, dos minutos. <laughs> so, da, 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 da. no volunteers. Belén, okay. Belén. Belén, thank you very much. So, Belen tiene un minuto. Um, lo voy a, I'm going to time it for cuestiones de tiempo. All right. So, sin detenerse. Non-stop. Guys, si no nos acordamos. Weakness and strengths. Weakness and strength. Yeah. Ahora hablen, eh, intentemos usar expresiones como, well, um, let me think about it. Eh, well, you know, so, para que llenemos el espacio en el que estamos pensando. Right. Belen, un minuto, go. Okay, um, maybe in my weeks, in my, my weakness and my strengths, uh, I'm gonna take the first of weakness. Uh, one of my weakness uh, maybe can be that I'm not uh, so much tolerant. Uh, like you said before, teacher, uh, like um, grumpy. I'm a little bit of grumpy. Then uh, maybe I don't have so much patience. I'm very impatient. Maybe that's the word. And mm -hmm. uh, some of my strengths too. It could be that I'm very positive. I have a lot of enthusiasm uh, for myself and for the other people. It's like uh, I'm a, a cheer. I, I, I can be a cheer for the others. And that I uh, don't uh, feel bad about the person. I can take all the advices for a good uh, thing. 
Yes, nice job. That's a beautiful description. Very nice. I like the vocabulary that you used. That was really nice. Um, and uh, it was super cool, you know. So now, so very good job, Belen. Thank you so much. Guys, ¿quién es el siguiente? Who's next? Es un minuto. That's easier, faster. Ni lo van a sentir. Who's next? Okay, ya veo Imelda ready. So Imelda, let's go with you. It's only a minute. So ready? Okay, one, two, three, go. Well, about my stress, I think I am uh, res responsible uh, because I like to commitment with my work when I have an activity to, to uh, or when I have a goal to achieve, I, ha I try to do my best. Um, I think I am a good learning. I like to learn about any topic. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I am I try to investigate to learn about it. And my weakness, I think I am not a soci social person because I don't like uh, to do um, activities with many people. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I like uh, working a team. Okay. And time is over. Very nice. That's a very good one. Very nice description. Uh, it took me by surprise that you don't like talking to a lot of people. <laughs> but that was uh, a really nice description. Maybe I, I didn't explain you very well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like it, uh, to be in with a crowd. Maybe. Oh, okay. It's not that you don't like people, it's just yes. not a crowd. Okay. Yes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Super nice. Uh, Maurice Bell su mano arriba. What so is that with you? Uh, crowd. Oh, a crowd. Like a lot of people, like when you go to a concert or you go to Metro Centro in Black Friday. No, yeah, like super like full of people, a crowd. Yes, okay. a crowd of people. Uh, Maurice, let's go with you. One minute. So steady, go. Miss, me teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, a winner for me uh, is that I don't can say no because uh, some people come to me and say me, hey, you can do me a favor. Uh, you can help me with that. And I never say yes. I don't know how, but it's, it's a win for me. And I'm strange. I can say that I love I love work in that with teams, mm -hmm. but I prefer to be a leader because I don't. How I say that? Uh, I I I I love to do the the things to to my um. Como digo mi manera. And time is over. <laughs> My way, <laughs> my, my way, way. my way. Yeah. Okay, well, that was actually very nice. That was a good description. Okay, thank you, Maurice. Uh, we do have time for one more person. Maurice, let's go ahead. Siguiente, so select next person. A pie, pie just serve one year. The story of our world, all the story day, the best to go. Andrea, si quiere. Ay, perdón. No worries, that's okay. Uh, okay, Andrea, let's go with you. One minute and ready, go. Okay, sí, my Andrea. <laughs> you can do uh, it. My, let's do my it. stress. <laughs> uh, I am a, a person responsible. Um, I am a loyalty with my family and my my friends. Uh, I am a. I. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I try. I try. Yes. I am a unsociable. Oh. Okay. In in some cases, I am a quiet 
shy uh, for talk to English at the class. Okay. Um, but I try. Go. I, <laughs> um, that's all, teacher. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Time's over. <laughs> Very good job, Miss. You made it. So one minute. Nice. Okay, guys. So I got Imelda, I got Andrea, I got Maurice, and I got Belen. So you're uh, good, right? Uh, guys, los demás tenemos para mañana las dos preguntas. What are your weakness? What are your strengths? And dos minutos, two minutes. So, prepárenlo, right? Mídanse el tiempo y lo presentamos durante la clase. Guys, super good job today, especialmente porque fue improvisado, right? De eso se trata, like to improvise a little bit and you made it super, super nice. Eh, solamente a couple of things here. Tenemos un par de palabritas que a veces eh, pueden ser confusas, eh, especialmente... Las palabras que eh, parecen, se parecen bastante, al igual que weak and weakness, pero se usan un poquito diferente. So, um, algunas de ellas son, por ejemplo, eh, commit and committed. Commit es comprometerse, el verbo en committed es comprometido en sentido de un adjetivo. Yo estoy comprometida, I am committed with my work, right? I am committed to do the best. En commit, Oh, I committed myself. I committed to my company. Eh, loyal. En loyalty. I am loyal. I have loyalty for my company. So, son bien parecidas, pero las usamos un poquito diferente. And, Pita, can, you, can you repeat the com, com, committed? Uh, yes, How? commit es el verbo. This is the verb, right? Um, so she commit, or y en pasado, she committed to be a, a good person. Ella se comprometió a ser mejor persona. But committed is I am committed. Ambas if, se pueden. If I see commitment is the same. Oh, nice. Y la siguiente palabra es commitment. Cambió totalmente. This is different now. So commit, el verbo, committed, el adjetivo, y commit. Sorry, me falta una letra. En commitment es el compromiso. So, ¿Cómo lo utilizo? Bastante fácil. Normally yo puedo poner acá my, your, his, her. My commitment is, mi compromiso es, right? My commitment is to help the company. My commitment is to be a better person. Um, everybody's commitment is to uh, improve the sales of the company. So, se parece mucho, pero se usan un poquito diferente, aunque el significado sea bien similar. And con la última, solo tengamos un poquito de cuidado con las negativas. Si utilizo don't, no puedo utilizar can't. Si utilizo can't, no puedo utilizar don't, right? So, um, no, no es muy común que utilicemos doble negación. Just FYI. All right, guys, uh, vamos a seguir practicando el día de mañana. No se les olvide los que todavía están pendientes. Two minutes, what are your um, strengths? What are your weaknesses? Guys, antes de irnos, solamente me regalan eh, un momentito para su asistencia. Please, ayúdenme con su camarita y con confirmación verbal. So, Mercedes, ¿está todavía por acá? Present. Gracias, Miss. Eh, Andrea. Andrea is Present. there. Thank you so much. Belen. Yes, teacher, I'm here, but I don't have light in my house. Oh, thank you, Miss. Espero que regrese rápido. I'm yes, sorry to hear that. Eh, Carlos, no, Carlos estaba en el hospital. Eh, Delmi. Present. Thank you. Uh, Enrique. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Francisco estaba I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you so much. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Helen uh, Barraza. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Imelda? Present. Thank you. Iris? Present. Thank you, Miss. Arnoldo? Iris, no le he escuchado today. <laughs> Arnoldo está por acá. Arnoldo se lo vi. Ricardo? Kenya Ruiz? Here. I hear. Thank you. Kenya. Present, Thank you, Miss. Kenya Sanchez? Angelica? 
Thank you. Uh, Gaby? Rafael? Present. Thank you. Reina Margarita? Margarita? Present teacher. Thank you. Ruben? Ruben Cesar? Present okay. teacher. Thank you so much. Judy? And Morris? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for your attendance. Me ayudan, por favor, completando la plataforma. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. See you guys. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Ya le toca one-on-one. Ahorita les escribo. No worries. Uh, me envía su tarea, eh, Ricardo. So send me your homework. Se la debo, cuando, teacher. I know, cuando tenga tiempo, no se preocupe. Hay que grabar so lo, que, lo que me mandó. Va. Sí, correcto. So send me ah, your va. homework. Bye. See well, you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.